Hello, hello, and thank you for passing by. If it's your first time here, my name is Edna. And if you want to know how I achieve this soft glam where everyday makeup look, please keep on watching. So we're going to start with brushing our eyebrows with a spoolie brush and I'm using the Maybelline eyeliner pomade in the color black. So I'm first going to outline the bottom of the eyebrow. I'm going to close by outlining the upper part and now I'm just filling it in making sure I add most of the product on the tail of the brow. And as I go towards the inner part, I add less and less product, making sure the inner part is not dark. And now I'm just using my pinky finger to clean the tail of the eyebrow. And I will use this fully brush to make sure the product is spread evenly. I'm now just checking if the eyebrows look similar. If they don't look similar, I go and try to make it as similar as possible. And I use the back of the brush as sort of like a ruler just to make sure the eyebrow starts and ends at the same place in both sides. And to set the eyebrow, I'm using these two dark shades from the James Charles palette. I'm using the dark shade in the outer part of the eyebrow and the light shade in the inner part of the eyebrow. I'm now using concealer. And I put the concealer on my hand just to warm it up. And now I'm gonna apply it using the brush. Just to clean and make sure it's defined. I will do the same using the same shade on the top part of the eyebrow. Now I'm going to add some concealer on the eyelid and blend that with the Beauty Blender. And I will do the same on the other eye. Now using this brush for more, I'm going to apply some setting powder on my eyelids. This prevents creasing and helps set our concealer in place. And that's all for eyeshadow. Now I'm using the Maybelline eyeliner. And I'm just going to make a very, very thin line as close as possible to my lash line. Woo! 
So now I'm using this crayon liner to line the upper waterline of my eyelids. So now I'm using some mascara. Oops. And these are the eyelashes I'll be using today. So the lash band is a bit long, so I'm gonna cut that and check if it fits my eyelid. I'm just gonna brush my eyelashes down and add glue to the false lashes. So my glue is gray and dries black, so when it gets darker, I know that it's ready to apply. And I start by applying it from the center, the outer corner, then the inner corner. And I press it down just to make sure it's in the right place. And I'm gonna do the same for the other eye. Now doing some retouches. And I'm gonna add some more mascara just to make sure it's all blending. So there you have it, this beautiful eyelashes from these stars. So I use Cetaphil face wash and lotion and Vaseline to prep my face. And now I'm gonna use some face primer. And I prefer applying it with my hands. And now I'm gonna use some foundation. I'll first put on my hand and now applying it with a beauty blender. Make sure it's all covered. Don't forget your neck under your chin. And I use a brush just to make sure it's all blended. And now I'm applying some concealer under my eyes. from the eyes down on the bridge of my nose and I don't make a T shape then I move straight to forehead now blending it with a damp beauty blender just take your time and make sure everything is blend and also after using the beauty blender, I'll go back and use a brush. Now I'm going to apply some setting powder. Just a little bit and I am pressing it down against my skin. Applying it in all areas we have applied the concealer. And I'll put some extra setting powder in the places where I want to be extra extra highlighted like the sides of my nose and the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going to contour using the contour brush from Focalure. So I make this line from the ear towards the outer corner of the lips and I bring the contour upwards and that way my face will be lifted. And also contour my forehead. And now we're going to make sure that contour is defined by applying some setting powder right underneath that contour. And I'm now going to contour my nose with the contour brush from Morphe. Adding more setting powder on the bridge of my nose just to make sure it's extra extra defined. And now I'm just brushing it all off my face, the setting powder, and also blending it at the same time, making sure there are no harsh lines. Now I'm setting my entire face with MAC Mineralize Skin Finish using Focalure's 
foundation brush and now I'm going to apply some blush, my favorite blush and I bring it a little bit across the nose going back with the contour shade just to make sure our cheeks are popping now I'm going to apply some highlighter starting by the top of my lips and my cheekbones And on the nose, I will use my fingers. I'll just apply first on the tip of the nose and in the middle of the bridge of the nose. Now moving to brow bone, I apply from the middle of the brow bone towards the end of the eyebrow, as you guys can see. Also applying it to the inner corner of the eye and bringing it a little bit towards the center of the eye, just to give a natural fade away effect. Now we're touching it again with eyeliner in the inner corners, marking my waterline with the crayon pen. For lips, I'm using this pink lipstick from Health Cosmetics and this glass from Morphe. I'm going to set my face with that same e.l.f. setting spray You can use a fan or anything you have to accelerate the drying process So that's it for makeup Now let's move on to hair So my wig was already laid down a few days ago For now I'm just going to detangle using the comb And I'm going to use some foundation to define that party, that middle party. Now spraying the hair with water, nothing but water, HO2. And I'll just be using mousse and water to style the hair. Now that the hair is damped, we're going to apply the mousse all over from the root to the tip of the hair. Just apply as much as you need if you need to go back and spray with more water. According to the definition you're going for, just do it. And I'm gonna scrunch it with my fingers like so. And that's it for hair and makeup. I hope you guys like this very, very natural soft glam makeup look. Or you can also call it everyday makeup look. So this is the finished look, I hope you guys liked it, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and share with your friends.
forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Happy Valentine's Day!